Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about how to retrieve a data that is an image from the Firebase storage and display them in our Flutter web application. Okay, so we will be having an image which you see here right now in this right uh, UI screen that is the Flutter logo itself. So we will be having a Flutter logo in our Firebase storage and what we will be doing is we will be just getting or uh, we'll be making use of the download url function and we'll be just retrieving that image from the firebase storage and display and we'll be showing up in our ui screens okay so this is what we'll be discussing in this video tutorial and uh, with this idea let's move on to the coding part well this is our firebase console and uh, inside the storage option you will be able to add files or you can upload your files over here with the help of this upload file button you will be able to add files over this uh, storage option and i have now added a single image file which is the flutter logo and what we'll be dealing is we will be just retrieving this image from our firebase storage and display them in our flutter web app okay and additionally to get this all done you need to change the rules of your firebase storage that is initially the rule would be like uh, i hardly remember it should be firebase auth dot not equal to null i think so so but you just to have a read write access and for a debugging purpose i have just modified the rule as a read and write as true that is i just want them to allow the read and write option so i just set the rule i just change them in such a way but uh, this is just for debugging purpose if you want to have a real time app then you just need to provide a strong rule to ensure the privacy okay and after this is done you can just go back to your vs code and start with the coding part well first we need to add two dependencies in our perspec ml file and the dependencies are firebase core and firebase storage and always check for the latest version as for the video recording date these are the latest versions and after adding these two packages in your perspec, you just need to go to the web folder and inside which you will be having a index.html file and within which you need to provide your firebase credentials you can get your firebase credential in your firebase console so inside the project you will be having it will be having your credentials that which includes the api key and the project id and so on just place them in this folder that is inside the index.html file and after adding these two things you can just move on to the main.file we have a main.file over here and inside the main.file you just need to add these two lines which is ensure initialized and initialize app and after adding these two files let's move on to the my home page this my home page is just the ui stuff i have a simple ui which in turn will be returning a future builder that is responsible for building up the image okay so as far as uh, the firebase is concerned we can either go for stream builder or future builder but in this case i just uh, stick with the future builder okay and the future what i have provided is the uh, function call this function call is written down in a separate class that is in a separate file here we get this function that is the get data is a function which is responsible or which contains the core logic for getting the image from the fire store okay from the firebase storage and inside this function it is an async function you can see here and it is it returns a type of future okay and this in turn makes a call to another function which is written down here and this is the core logic of the code snippet which is responsible for getting the image that is the url of the image from the firebase storage you can just make use of the firebase storage instance and pass in the file name you can, in our case it is flutter.png you can just pass in the image file path as well and make use of the get download url this will be providing a string uh, that is the url which is of type string okay which is later returned as a result of this function call okay so by calling this function it will be returning the string of the image which is provided in the firebase storage now let's go back to the home page and which is so the returned uh, image url is captured in the snapshot and with the help of, of snapshot the data will be able to access the url of the image but the snapshot the data in turn is an object but the image.network widget will be accepting the source as a string 
so in order to convert that object into string we have made use of two string method and with which you will be able to to convert the object of url type into a string which is then displayed up in the ui screens okay so we have a simple two conditions that is that is we will be checking for error conditions if it is error will be returning a text widget stating something went wrong or else if the connection is done and everything is a success one then in such cases we will be returning the we will be building up the image widget or else if none of the conditions get satisfied then we will be just simply returning a circular progress indicator okay so it's very simple now let me just quickly summarize the following steps once again so that you can remember it better well can first with the pub spec you just need to add you just need to add these two dependencies which is firebase core and firebase storage and after adding these two files uh, after adding these two dependencies move to the index.html file and provide your firebase credentials once you're done with that go to the main data file and add these two code snippets then go to main my home page where you have provided you, you might have either used stream builder or future builder but uh, we are in, in for the future you just provide the call to the function or you can directly write the code snippet that is the logic for write, getting the data from the firebase for now to be a structural one i just wrote down in a separate class but you can just copy this entire line and place it in the say the future call so that nothing is going to change so you can just make a call to this function which in turn returns the image url right which is then captured in the snapshot data and it is just displayed with the help of image.network widget right this is all about how to get the data that is how to get image from the firebase storage and display them in your flutter web application okay well that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye